Hey Icy Warriors, what's up? It's me, Keith Powers. Welcome. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. I can't talk. Like, I literally feel like I have, like, a snake in my mouth. But, anyway, what's up, guys? It's me, Keith Powers. I'm so happy to be making a brand new video for you guys. Guys, if you can see what's different about this video, like, the quality, you can see, like, the ring light eyes and my eyes and whatever. Well, there's so much, there's totally a lot of things that's different in this video. Well, one, I have color in my eye. We're doing like this, ne this like neon pink um, eyeshadow look. The palette that I used today was Huda all Huda Beauties um, from her Huda Beauty Neon um, palette. So I'm gonna show you the palette right now. So here it is literally everything's like super, super good, super, super sleek and clean. I actually been loving like pink shadows lately. It's so weird coming from the person that never wears color in his eye. I've been trying Dragon Beauty a lot too, so you'll be seeing that in this video too. Literally, um, literally glow recipes in here. Literally, like the whole five, the whole nine yards, like in here. It feels like a first impression video, but like it's kind of not because I been using these products like for like a while now the only thing that new that i literally tried for this video that i bought for like youtube purposes is like the huda beauty so shout out to huda beauty she's killing it like in the makeup game guys i have a new camera i got the sony a500 um shout out to one of my good friends darren he really he sent this out for me straight from atlanta atl so i'm super excited to, guys i can't stop looking in my new viewfinder and like the quality is like really really good. I feel like I look like a catfish, but like a good catfish, not like the ones that like steal and everything. Like, you know? You know? Literally, I can't stop smiling. I have a ring light now. Literally, I've just been bossing up and I've just been like changing some stuff like in my career and just like everything too. Um, if you guys are new here, make sure you guys subscribe. It will be down below or probably above. I don't know. I don't know, I haven't been on YouTube for a, for a good while. If you guys probably know me from Instagram, hi, my name is Keith Paris. Yes, I'm wearing clothes for once. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, then I post makeup selfie, just me looking cute, me showing my butt. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, it'll be down below, and it'll be floating right here. Keatsy Boy underscore. Like, we advance now, my editing skills is getting, is not even A1 no more. It's like, I see now so yeah and if you want to be a member of the IC warrior please um subscribe like this video share share to see your mom and your daddy your cousin like anybody could get this so like yeah I'm gonna stop rambling literally I can't stop looking at my jewelry and my face so I'm gonna shut up and let's um go on with the video <laughs> guys now i'm doing a voiceover now i'm just taking my la girl t toast um concealer and putting that all over my eyelids so we can just have a blank canvas i'm just taking this morphe i don't know what the name of it i'll leave everything like down below but i'm just taking this morphe brush and just blending everything on my eyelids so everything can just be i don't want nothing showing on my eyelid because we're like diving to some bold colors today so i'm just blending that taking that over the lid and underneath my brow bone now i'm diving to my color pop palette that i made so I'm just taking this brown color, this will be our transition color, there's nothing wrong with going. nothing wrong with being safe, having a transition color, just a good brown. Now I'm diving into that like light pinkish color in the Huda Beauty um, Neon Pink Obsession palette. I'm just using that as our second shade, I'm using that all over my crease, So and, and I'm particularly winging it out so everything can be blended and really just like airbrushed. So now I'm going to take this Wet n Wild brush and I'm packing this pink shade from the Huda palette again all over, all over the lid. So I just want the pink to really show on my eye because this is a pink obsession look. So I want the pink to really show, kind of make me give pink eye. I'm going back in with my Kiko Milano brush, that same brush that I used um, when we packed in that orangey like soda color on it. Now I'm going with a Kiko Milano like eyebrow, um, like their concealer brush and I'm just packing in this purple shade from the Huda palette I'm packing that over my lid again I kind of want the pink and the purple to mix together because that's kind of like the look I'm gonna go for and now I'm going back in with that same blending brush and that's you know blending it in and now so I can get that perfect like cat eye shape I'm just going to go in with some concealer some LA girl toast and I'm just gonna be concealing where like um the end of my like where the eyeshadow ends so I, it can be like very perfect and precise and i'm just taking my finger and just blending that out okay, so the eyes is like done i'm so happy how this look finally some color in my eye 
Like, literally, I'm living for this look, so now it's time to do the whole face. So, I always use this Kiko Milano eye cream. I haven't done my makeup in such a long time, so I feel like, if it feels like it's so weird or anything, guys, sorry. Like, I'm just a little rusty, like, I don't know what to say. The rule number one, you guys know I love my eye cream. So, it's like, like take the Kiko Milano eye cream and just put this all over my eyes. I haven't gotten any sleep. I've just been really just been staying up all night just like brainstorming working on some content and just like working too so yeah your boy just been trying to get this back so for the face i've been loving this for the face because it just gives me like a glass skin look i'm gonna use a far sally skin skin tone blur so it's in this um like you can say like mint green bottle so i'm so yeah just like an instagram filter so this is just um this primer just gonna make your skin just blur and I love the blurring effect like on my face. I feel like I need that for like my face and this is gonna make you look more like face tuned already. So who doesn't wanna look more face tuned? So I'm just gonna blend this all over my face, my skin. Mainly the forehead. I don't want my forehead to be looking like Textury, so it's really gonna be perfect even though I have like a blurring effect like on the camera already guys If you feel like the qual tell me how the quality is thumbs up if the quality is really good I have a new camera, so everything looks really sharp really crisp. So super happy about that You already know I always um color correct before I put on any foundation on my face So I'm gonna use the dragon beauty corrector the infamous orange corrector I feel like um Nikia um, brand has been getting a lot of mixed reviews and um, I personally like the orange corrector you guys know I'm a big fan of orange correctors obviously I learned on um, how to color correct up from Miss Nikita Dragon so yeah so I'm just gonna put this like where I have any dark spots any blemishes that I want to like cover up for today so yeah going with my finger but I think um today I'm gonna go in with a brush just um just blend it out and the coolest thing about this corrector is that it um it when you put on your face is a liquid but then when you blend it out it turns into like a powdery substance which is like the coolest like weirdest thing ever and the main place I like to cover up just like my beard area and you know um just like my under eyes like for a little extra coverage because I don't want to um, have this orange blend into my foundation I'm going to take my Huda Beauty um, found, um, not foundation um, her setting powder and the shade Nutmeg and just um, set where I put my orange corrector a lot of people don't do this step and they wonder why that like their foundation look like too orangey or like it just looks like way too different and it's just because they don't know how to set their orange corrector. I mean, Nikita Dragon did say like this is um this won't blend in to your skin. I mean, to your foundation when you're um doing your makeup. But like, I'm black. Like, I don't have time to trust people. Like, I can't be looking clockable, like unclockable in these streets. Like, you know, I have a reputation to protect. So, sorry, Nikita. We're looking like um. Like a pumpkin with like with like pink eyes. So for foundation today, um, I've been loving the NARS um, long, I think the um radiant longwear foundation. Guys, don't even know what um, don't even ask me what's my shade is um, this I can't even pronounce it. Like, you know what this word means? Like, please tell me. I'm gonna leave it like floating um down below, or if you guys check my Instagram or just down in the description box below, you guys will um the name will be there. I always put like the stuff that I always use but I've been loving the NARS Radiant um, foundation I just I don't know I just been loving like that look of makeup like um, if you guys know like Erica LaPearl shout out to Erica LaPearl um, I um, been watching like some of her like YouTube videos um, that she do with like um, with like um, ear entertainment and stuff like that and she been sharing like a lot of tips like how she does her makeup and like she said if you want like the Atlanta beat like she said like it's this like foundation like is this foundation so and NARS is like known for like 
for like makeup makeup. So this is new. I haven't used this yet. I used the Sheer Glow one, but like I ran out of that one. So I'm just gonna, um, this was a new bottle. So I'm just gonna, you know, put this all over my face like how I always do the foundation. I go in with a brush first and then I go in with, um, and then I go in with, um, Beauty Blender. I'll be right back. I actually have to wet my beauty blender, so let me wet my beauty blender and then I'll be right back and then I'll finish with like the makeup. <laughs> okay, I'm back, so now I'm just I wet my beauty blender and now we're just blending like everything your skin. So far so good. I'm loving the eyes. Guys, it's like so freaking hot right now. I'm like it's literally what time is it? It's 8.30. Like, and I'm over here filming, playing with makeup already early in the damn morning, wow. So for concealer, I kind of want to use two concealers today because I'm feeling extra today. So I kind of want to use the KKW Beauty. This one's in number 12. I've been using this so much lately. Um, and then I want to use the Wonder Beauty one. Um, I ha actually never used this one before. They sent this to me in PR. I love the Wonder Beauty team so much. Shout out to Wonder Beauty. They're a really great brand and amazing people. And um, I think this is in the shade, yep, this is in the shade deep, so I kind of like how the color looks, so I think I want to mix these two together and just see, like, the color, um, how it looks underneath my eyes, like, yeah. lately I've just been, um, I've just been mixing concealer a lot lately, so this has really just been, like, an addiction of mine. <laughs> Here. I'll use the Kit Kat Beauty one. Mix these two. Okay, so literally, the noise is going away. Whoa. Take um the Huda Beauty nut um oh this is not even a nutmeg this is a coffee cake yeah I got the names mixed up I was thinking of nutmeg from like my Fenty Beauty name one but I'm using coffee cake from Huda Beauty so yeah I'm gonna take um coffee cake right now and just set my under eye ink I'm obsessed with like. With, with like um the little second sponge back again now. Hey, okay, sorry about that, guys. My camera um got um heated. Like I said, this is a new camera, and even so I'm getting used to like all its cool features and stuff like that. Like the flip screen is so cool. Like I can tell, like everything looks so crisp and clean. But like anyway, let's get back to the makeup. Um, obviously now I'm baking right now, so let me contour right now. So for contour, I've been using KKW Beauty for like a very long time now. I actually genuinely do like this one, so I'm gonna dip into. Hold on, let me see if I can do this. Like a beauty guru, I'm gonna dip into this shade right here. This one don't have a, like a, a name or nothing for it. Um. So yeah, um, I really don't like the highlight in this in this um contouring powder though. That's So, yeah, doing what it's supposed to do. Regular brush now and just um, wipe away all that extra fake. So, I'm going to Forehead.
you guys and more so for my under eyes what I like to do for my under eyes to make it look bright and just like I really need to blend in together for my foundation I've been using it since like when I was in high school and this is the same product I have since like high school I've been obsessed with the NYX no filter powder I didn't know about this um I have so much friends that used to work at NYX Cosmetic and like some of them they like work at my job right now and they literally put me onto this and I've literally been like obsessed with it since like I've been using this so this is in the shade deep golden guys if you don't know nothing about the no filter powder you need to get this so I like to take it on a taper brush and don't be afraid of this powder either like tap into this like I'm just gonna take off this big underneath here. I think we're already set. I wanna go back into this palette. I'm gonna go back into that pink shade. And I kinda wanna take this taper brush, this pencil taper brush. This is the Morphe R41, I think. The, the um, name is coming off. I'm gonna dive into this and I wanna put it underneath my, um, my waterline. Clean blending brush and just like blend and dry out. Okay, and with everything, I think we just need to set everything else, set everything in, and then just use highlight. And then I kind of have to change because this um, girl shirt is not like the aesthetic for like this look. I use the um, Wonder Beauty Glow. Get or miss. I've been using this like a lot lately too, so this is what we're gonna be using. And then highlight and everything, you know, I'm gonna talk all about that like after when we set our face. So here goes nothing. <laughs> With highlight, I like to use Morphe Mirage. You guys already know what I like to do. And this is the Morphe N501 brush. I'm Shit, do you see that? Like, oh my god. Whoa, with the Morphe lip line, just and don't even remember the name, but I'll leave it down below. is 2019 and the only thing we use in 2019 is the Fenty gloss. I'm gonna go in with this too. So I just want to go in with a second one that I always use this is the Morphe one and it's in this and this in the shade backstage. I'll have a discount code with Morphe. I know I use Morphe like a lot in this video and this video wasn't sponsored by Morphe anything but Morphe. If you want to send some stuff, hi my name is Keith Paris like I use all my paychecks on you guys. So, but if you do want to use um, Morphe stuff, you can use like, I don't know, any influences, any influences other, their discount code. You can use code Jane, you can go Bretman, Nikita, Jeffrey, like all those others. I don't have a code with them. So, but if I did, it would be use code Paris with two R's. But it's not, so don't use it. But if you do, just tag Morphe though. The old me would have been done with like my makeup, but I kind of want to give this product another try. I kind of want to use Dragon Beauty again. If you guys know what Dragon Beauty is, obviously it's cre the creator of Dragon Beauty is, um, you know, the ongoing girl, Nikita Dragon. Shout out to Nikita for your amazing brand. Obviously, I use the like, orange corrector in this video, and this is not a first impression, but I kind of want to give this product another try. When I first swatched it on my hand, I actually swatched it from my friend Claudina, well, my good sister Claudina. Shout out to Claudina, shout out to you, girl. Um, when I swatched it on my hand when it was in, um, when I was in her hotel, um, I swatched, I don't know if you can see, that pearl, that yellowish shade, I swatched that on my, on my hand and it'll look ashy on me. And then, if you follow me on Instagram, that last post that I posted was just me wearing that, um, that a denim shirt. Um, it make my under eyes super, super bright. It didn't make it, like, really bright, but I feel like it looked white. So, I kind of want to go in with the Real Technique, um, brush. I got the brush set from, like, Walgreens. 
so I kind of want to give this another try. A lot of people who are African American color, they said they have been using this, but like only use it like little sparsely. Don't like OD and use like all underneath your eye because it will look um like white and ashy. And but like I find it so weird because like it says like it's a universal powder, so I kind of want to give it another try because I'm extra. So yeah, getting into that to that yellow opaly color once again. And tap off the excess and then then I'm gonna just add it underneath here. I don't know if you guys can see the difference. It did brighten my under eye like like it always says. And guys just make sure you just tap off the excess like where whatever you product you do thing just like tap off the excess a little bit like on the forehead I like the yellow one this really did um brighten me up now I see it now so I actually like it let me zoom you guys in oh I look good I don't know if you guys can see that but like <laughs> It's really, really good. All right, guys, I literally have changed. I put on my Dragon Ball Z sweater, put on some eyes, put on my snowflake, put on my hand necklace. So I am literally done. So this is the final look. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something, like, new. Sorry about my hair. My hair is, like, have makeup in it. And, like, I put, like, my curler in it. And, like, um, it dried it. So, like, literally, um, I feel like I'm ba having a bad hair day. But guys enjoy the video i love making two videos for you guys and you know just literally just what makes my day and what makes me happy just really sitting here on the floor literally there's so much makeup here on the floor literally so much paper lists and stuff that i have to like create and everything so yeah i'm happy that um i'm slowly coming back and like you can see there's like a change in my channel and like there's i'm com i'm really coming for like the beauty community or whatever like i really i actually really don't care I'm not trying to be nobody else. No, I'm not trying to be James or Laura. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> They're canceled. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> Jinkies. <laughs> but literally, I hope you guys like this look. So, like, literally, I can do this all day. Literally, I hardly do color. I just wanted to do something pink. Something, like, really, like, hot girl summer-ish. Because everyone's, like, doing that bandwagon now but yeah i kind of liked it you know something simple something cute it's um something really quick and easy to put on too like if you have to work at a makeup store you just need to put this on if you you know going on a day you can even use this for valentine's day too literally you know just put on a pink shadow popping highlight contours with the gods and just a great foundation to highlight and then you're good so yeah, you guys don't have me on Instagram. My um, platform is ktboy underscore on Instagram, Twitter, um, MUA Paris. I think MUA and P is capitalized. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And um, yeah, this literally have I don't have nothing else to say. Stay strong. Bye, guys. <laughs> oh.